All right, before we kick this off, we're doing something a little bit different today. While I enjoy this polar pizza, or possibly enjoy it, you can enjoy some zombie tsunami game footage. I mean, that's what all the popular gaming channels are doing. They're just showing you some gameplay and then talking over it. In this instance, I'm going to put the review over in the corner so you'll be able to see it and not just hear me yapping away. But uh, So enjoy some zombie tsunami while I possibly enjoy this polar pizza from Baskin Robbins. All right, Baskin Robbins throwing their hat into the ring, the pizza ring with the polar pizza. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. So today I'm gonna to try to persuade you into something a little bit different, a quick review, kind of a public service announcement. The more you know, Polar Pizza from Baskin Robbins. That's right, they're throwing their hat into the ring, trying to make some pizza. You know, this is definitely aimed for the kids out there and adults alike, because I am excited to actually try this. They actually have four flavors. They have cookie dough, which is the one I've got here. We've got Oreo cookie, Jamocha almond fudge, and peanut butter chocolate with Reese's peanut butter chocolate chips. They didn't have the Reese's one in stock. I went with the next best option, the cookie dough. So let's get up close and personal with the Polar Pizza from me. All right, guys, you got an up close and personal look at that polar pizza, the cookie dough version. As you can see, it's got the uh, chocolate chip cookie for the crust, the chocolate chip ice cream, some cookie dough and sprinkles on top. So we're going to eat it just like a pizza because, you know, it's a pizza and we're going to see if I like it or not. But did I mention this was $19.99? I believe there's something like 10 slices. So uh, we'll break that down in a second, but let's give it a shot. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, right up Jump Street, I'm gonna tell you. This is a lot better on the first bite than I thought it was going to be. A lot of times with these cookie crusts or anything of that nature, sometimes they get overcooked on the bottom or they're hard. This actually has a nice texture of like a soft uh, chocolate chip cookie. And when you bite into it, it just blends in with the ice cream. Even though it was in the freezer and it is cold, it breaks down as you're chewing. And then you get the taste of the cookie dough crumbles on top. Wow, let me go in for one more bite before this melts in my hand. But early returns... It's pretty good. All right. All right, guys. After three bites, I'm just going to keep it plain and simple. Purchase this. I endorse this. This is very, very good. Especially if you are parents out there and you have some kids. Especially if your kids have some friends over. It's the dog days of summer. Definitely hook them up with this. I wasn't 100% sold on the $20 price tag. But I mean, 10 slices, $2 a slice. And it is fun to eat, especially for the kids. And the cookie was the amazing standout on this. The cookie crust. It was like a fresh made soft chocolate chip cookie. And I had it in the freezer for a couple days before I did this review. So it is melting a little bit as I am talking and rambling. So you could probably eat it with your hand like a slice of pizza at first, but especially outside, if it's outside in the sunlight, it's probably gonna melt pretty quickly. Gonna wanna uh, use a spoon or a fork, but let's rate this, shall we? On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of, uh, I'm going to give the new cookie dough polar pizza from Baskin Robbins a rating of 90. That's right, 90 out of 100. That is 9 out of 10 for all you keeping score at home. This was very, very good. I'm glad I tried it. So there you go, another review in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media that gets the word of the endorsement 
out to the masses. And in closing, I want to thank you for hanging with me on this unique little video. It was a fun product, so I took this chance to make a unique kind of video, kind of poking fun at some of those uh, gaming channels that just show the uh, gameplay over their talk. But here, I actually let you see the product, see my face, see me eating it. I don't know if that's better or not, but it's what I did. So, what do you want from me? Another review in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media that gets the word of the endorsement out to the masses. Thank you again. We'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye. Bonus footage. Definitely some meltage going on. Whoa, caught it. But um, yeah, this is really, really good. Like I said, ooh. So have any of you out there ever played Zombie Tsunami on your phone? I am addicted. I mean, there's some crazy videos out there of Zombie Tsunami gameplay that have like millions of views, like two million views. This video, we'll get close to that.